Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. All right, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials and today is the day we will be installing Lineage OS 16 that is based on Android 9 Pie for the OnePlus 5. Now, why is this ROM so important? Well, as I have always been saying, if you've been with me or my channel for a long time, Lineage OS is the successor to CyanogenMod, which was the rage when the customization stuff started back in the day. Until date, I have all the respect for these guys because the way they compile ROMs, the way the community is together even today is amazing. So Lineage OS doesn't have a lot of features and a lot of stuff. It's basically pure vanilla Android with a few add-ons here and there. So let's go ahead and install Lineage OS 16. Let's see if there are any major bugs or not and uh, let's see how well it goes. But before we do that, why don't you consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get flashing. Hey guys, welcome to another video once again. And as we are rocking a OnePlus 5 these days, what we are looking at again is a very, very important ROM, which is there for every device. Because once you have this particular ROM that is Lineage OS, 15, 16 or whatever the version is, you will have a lot of other ROMs as a base is already clear. Now, what we are talking about here is Lineage OS 16 based on Android Pie for the OnePlus 5 and of course this is available for the OnePlus 60 and the OnePlus 5T as well. Now, basic stuff here, make sure your battery is more than 50%, make sure you've backed up all the information because we may lose data. At the same time, you need to ensure that you have TWRP installed and your device is decrypted which of course requires an unlocked bootloader now after which you will have to copy the gapps file the rom file and the no verity decrypt file to your phone's internal memory and uh, in case you need root well you can also copy magisk 18.0 so with all that taken care of let's go ahead and install it and let's have a look at lineage os on the oneplus 5 which is based on android pie so first things first we'll go to wipe Advanced Wipe, Delvic Cache System Data, and Swipe. All right, now once that is wiped, all you need to do is you need to go to Install, select the Lineage OS file, and swipe to confirm flash. Now, of course, this is a ROM file, so it will take some time for it to be flashed. So please be patient while that happens and uh, I've not used it extensively. So yeah, we are nearing the stage wherein uh, most of the important ROMs for the OnePlus 5 have been covered and uh, we should be in a situation to very soon review ROMs until the OnePlus 60 McLaren comes to smartphone tutorials. So let's wait for the flash to complete and then we will proceed. Okay, now that the ROM is flashed, go to install, select the open G apps and swipe to confirm flash. Now, once again, I use Nano G apps. I don't use Micro or Pico because those are too small and basically Nano works just fine for me. This is of course the ARM64 architecture and uh, yes, this flash will take some time as well. So please be patient while the flash is done. Okay, now open G apps are flashed as well. So go to the main screen, install, and now we will install the firmware. So select the firmware file and swipe to confirm flash because we are running Android 9. So flashing the firmware file is very, very important. Okay. The last thing we will flash is no verity treble zip so that the device remains decrypted and patch has been applied successfully. So now everything is flashed. We will have a look at the lineage OS boot animation once again. So reboot system and do not install. Now let's wait for the phone to boot up and once we have skipped through the setup screen for this wonderful ROM, we will go ahead and see how smooth it runs and if there's anything different when it comes to Lineage OS for the OnePlus 5. All right, now as you can see, we are on the home screen of Lineage OS and uh, there are very, very few apps. Of course, the camera application is there. Now again, this is not a OnePlus or a G Cam or a Google camera, but then again, the phone does have a camera application and it does work and uh, Apart from that, we have a few other applications like 
standard procedure for lineage os we do have audio effects and music and all the other things we have a recorder so basically very very minimalistic rom very very few things available now once again if we go to settings and if we go to system and if we go to advanced you will have stuff like quick pull down network traffic monitor you have system icons you have clock position you can show the seconds over here am pm style brightness slider auto brightness and brightness control so that is that apart from that if you go to system profiles you can actually de decide on a system profile for this particular rom you do have gestures as well like touch screen gestures two fingers down to swipe so yeah it is getting better and better basically the pi version of lineage os and uh, what i am experiencing from the first look and the first feel is it is very very nice and it is very very smooth now if you go to updater it says this is lineage os 16 android 9 2nd january 2019 and they don't have an update as of now but this build is dated 2nd of january so this is a relatively very very recent build now apart from that standard stuff what you see here is basically the google design language for you know android pi and of course why not because this phone is running android pi there you have it so the security patch is december and the build date is 2nd of january now if you keep tapping this you have the psychedelic android pi logo so overall all in all if you look at the snappiness of these custom roms for the oneplus 5 now i know this phone is old not that old maybe at least one and a half year old but it is still rocking a snapdragon 835 that is correct and at the same time it has six gigabytes of ram and ultra fast internal storage so the custom roms have gotten that much better and that is the reason you know i'm not finding it difficult to stay with this particular phone or I'm not finding the need to you know maybe move to a different phone or something like that because talk about custom ROMs talk about stable ROMs talk about anything when it comes to the OnePlus 5 it is doing its job great apart from the camera camera of course is not up to the mark compared to few of the recent phones here but overall well the oneplus 5 along with these custom roms that i'm covering for you guys is doing a great job let me know in the comment section if you're rocking a oneplus 5 or a 5t and are you loving the custom rom support or not i will be back in the next video along with one new rom one new device maybe or the same device but for now if you like this video like share and subscribe and stay tuned there are a lot of things that will be covered on this particular channel until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.